Welcome to another fantabulous episode of Free Enterprise. Uh, this time I'm going to be looking at the format factory, which was in the file that you downloaded if you decided to download it. If not, just Google Format Factory, you'll be able to find it. It's a useful tool for me, for moi, who likes videos and stuff. So you can take video and convert to P4, AVI, G3, GP, RMVB, and Windows Movie Video. You could also take audio, convert it to MP3, WMA, FLAC, which I don't know what that is, AAC, MMF, and AMR. You could take and convert pictures to JPEGs, to PNG, ICO, bitmap, GIF, or TIFF. And you could take and turn a DVD to a video file, a music CD to an audio file, a DVD to a ISO or an ISO to CSO, which I don't know what the CSO is. But ISO is like a, of a of a disc that you can have on your computer without having the physical disc. And this is advanced video joiner, a audio joiner, MUX, and media file. I've never tried any of these, but I tried the video one and the audio one for my podcast and also for YouTube. So what I'm going to do today is convert some files that I did to a WMV. When I reviewed when I reviewed Batman Arkham Asylum, I converted the files from AVI to MP4 and for some strange reason I I would get the double the file one part with audio one part without it would be the same file repeated um, duplicate twice and uh, the first one would play with audio and then the second without but it would come out to be too long so I decided to convert it to WMV and that makes the problem so what I'm gonna do today Let's take some Devil May Cry um, videos that I recorded with Fraps. These aren't them. <laughs> and uh, turn them into WMV. Alright. So you can select multiple files. And then just tell it to open. And then just hit OK when you do it has them all listed just hit start and the conversion starts um after the file after the format factory changes all the files to umv they show up in a folder called um ff output so what you do, you look for that folder, FF output, and just copy the files or put them into your video folder or whatever folder you use for your YouTube and then upload them. But when making these videos, you have to make sure that they're 10 minutes long. All right, that's it. I'm going to have you guys wait because the end result will be that you'll have a w, um, WMV file, which will play just as good as the AVI file that you had. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this program because I enjoy it. <laughs>